this was the end of the last video. We have come to the linear transformation which is necessary to calculate these, uh, this expression here. And now we uh, can yeah, have to make the, the proof. And I will do it here. I hope I have yellow again. And again, the variation. Let me start here. Uh, we, yeah. The variance of A plus B x i is the same thing as is equal to uh, 1 over n but per definition 1 over n and the sum of e y i minus mu y squared so and instead of uh, this uh, y i and mu y we have this expression expressions and so we can rewrite it as the sum of um, y a plus a plus b a plus b x e minus and the whole mu y thing and this is a plus b mu x and parentheses and uh, you, you can see the uh, thing again sum a plus b x y i minus a minus b mu x and squared and we see a minus a is zero and we keep on going sum of uh, b x i minus b mu x squared and we can factor out uh, the b so it's 1 over n sum b times x i minus mu x the whole thing squared and we see now we uh, if we square the terms we can uh, easily do it 1 over x and here's a multiplication sign so this is this, this expression uh, needs to p squared times x i minus mu x squared just uh, exponent rules and because b is a constant we can uh, again be uh, factor it out so here again is b uh, times 1 over n sum of x i minus mu x squared and here we see home stretch this expression is exactly the standard uh, definition of the variance of x i and here is oops here is the constant and we are done with this side state uh, expression linear transformation and, and we did it because now we can use it in a, for, for what we need for thi in this expression this is uh, uh, um, yeah let's do it in another color uh, this uh, thing is I, this thing here is that thing here the B thing and the sum of uh, xe is our uh, xi. So here we see the, uh, the the link between these two expressions, and that's why I did this uh, this proof because we need it because we have an, an, an a factor here in front of the uh, sum sign, and now we can uh, uh, move on. And move on means 
we can go directly in this direction and we have the, the formula to, to apply. So the variance of n over a sum xi is equal to uh, our factor squared, and factor squared means n squared and times th still the expression and the expression is sum over xi. So it's a huge step, a long proof for, to make clear why we can do it because of this proof, this linear transformation thing. And the next step is to get rid of this uh, sum sign inside the parentheses. There is another um, uh, law in statistics and, 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 and I, I write it 1 over n squared times the sum of oops the variance, uh, that's not good, to erase that and paint again, times uh, the sum of the variance x, x, i. And uh, here, no. and in words, verbally expressed means the, vari the variance of a sum of uh, uh, samples is the same as the uh, sum of the variances of the examples. Slightly but uh, very important distinction. Again, uh, uh, vice versa, uh, uh, the sum of the variance of uh, uh, xi is the same thing as the variance of the sum of the xi. And uh, we can uh, make a little hint on that proof to not step forward but to, to, to make that proof intuitive, intuitive, to, have to have more intuition or, or uh, uh, at all intuition. Uh, this proof needs uh, another 10 minutes, just for m at least 10 minutes to prove that. And I, I just gave a, a little um, intuition, uh, I hope I give a little intuition uh, why this is. So we have the, the standard definition of the variance and uh, it is uh, 1 over n sum of x y minus mu squared is the variance of x and now we have um, yeah sums here so we can generally a general example means the, the variance of an x and then y and the y and we just put there, uh, where before it was only x and i, we said x and y. So here the expression leads us to 1 over n sum and here x plus y and minus the mu of x plus the mu of y and the whole thing squared. Uh, only the only thing that happened is this expression here is that, and that expression is that. So now we can a uh, little bit algebra, and we see where, where it leads to. And we have seen before here in this term that this expression. Uh, the expected value of uh, this expression leads us directly to, the, to the, the, the definition of the variance and we can use this expression again uh, to uh, uh, make our, our proof and, and I use uh, just not to make the whole uh, proof again I have uh, found something, I copy and paste it. Uh, this is the, what I wrote here, uh, uh, expressed in what I said before with the expected value. And this expected value, uh, as we, we, we seen before, needs to 
with some uh, uh, regrouping again to this expression and this leads to this expression and we see, we see each other in the next video.